Hello everyone and welcome back to more Umi Neko When They Cry. In the last episode we arrived at the mansion and we met some more characters that I guess will be important to the plot like Canon, uh, another servant who seems to be a bit downtrodden by Goda who I believe we also met in the last episode. But without further ado I'm gonna jump straight into this episode. As they did this I piled all the stuff back into the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Oh, he's such a cutie. Letting the guests who were supposed to feel welcome see such a disgraceful thing must have been hideously embarrassing for a servant. Pressed by Goda to hurry up and go, Kanon Kun left. I definitely don't really like Goda very much as a character right now. Without even a twitch in his smile, Goda san apologized elegantly. いろいろと損をしとる。もったいないわ。気難しい年頃さ。さっぱしといてやれよ。使用人は寡黙なくらいで調度いいさ。あ、熊沢さん。ルドルフ様は適備中ございますこと。私ほど使用人で寡黙な
I'm assuming her, the head family is, you know, her parents and stuff. Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have spoken too soon. <laughs> I guess you could say my own house was upper class, but to me, it felt completely ordinary compared to the head family. The display of wealth was shocking, as was the fact that they built this kind of awesome guest house for guests who came over only a few times a year. They might host other people, you don't know that. レマ様、秀吉様、こちらのお部屋をお使いくださいませ。ルドルフ様、キレイ様はこちらのお部屋をお使いくださいませ。やっぱりここは綺麗で上品でいいわね。洋風ってほんとに素敵だわ。本能に
Dad said he was getting his stomach ache earlier, and I imagine that reflected the honest feelings of all the adults here today. No doubt they were jealous of us grandchildren, who could just play around and laugh without a care. It must have been really hard for, for the parents growing up, because it seems like... I don't know, the head seemed very strict and like he didn't very much care for his children. From the stories Dad told me, the family head was a violent man who ruled with his fists, beating his children, even his daughters, mercilessly with a wooden sword. If he was so strict and uptight about that, why couldn't he have been a little more conservative with his kids' names? Because of that, even us grandkids have had to suffer. Anyway, I can't say I've had any trouble believing those terrifying stories about him. I don't remember meeting him very often, but I think I recall him looking extremely grumpy all the time, always making people cower with that sharp gaze of his. I remember that the room's atmosphere got so tense whenever he was around, you couldn't even breathe. What my dad said about me being a guest of honour now carries a little more oomph for me. <笑>さすがに今は高校生だ。失礼のある態度なんか取ったら大変なことになるかもしれねえな。いい子、いい子。確かに怖もてだけど。そんなに固くなるほど怖い人じゃないよ。ウェフィビッツ well, that just sounds perverted. それもお止めの生尻をよ。ジェシカちゃんは本家の跡取り娘だもん。おじいさまも特に目をかけてくれてるんだよ。その厳しさは期待の気持ちの裏返しだと思わなくちゃ。冗談じゃねえぜ。I think I already said it before, but Jessica's the girl heir to the head family. We're only cousins in branch families, so she probably feels a totally different sort of pressure than we do. She was grateful for Maria's innocent concern, but Jessica's face still seemed to contain some of the uneasiness she felt towards the future. Maybe we were in the same boat. Any high schooler with exams approaching would have trouble hiding their anxiety for the future. Maria, you say? お母さんとマリアはこの部屋よ。バトラ君は僕と一緒にこっちの部屋だってさ。おお。何何？こりゃ驚いた。親たちの部屋より広めじゃないのよ。わお。どうせいとこどうして集まるだろうと思ってよ
But if that had been the case, Dad would have just told us to come and that would be the end of it. He's saying it's okay if we don't come, so what do we do? Hmm, I wonder what he means by that. Well, that's a bit mean. Since Maria was being told to house sit here, we certainly couldn't leave her on her own. George Niki notices immediately and gave a clear reply for all of us cousins. じゃあ、僕たちはお言葉に甘えて留守番してよか。<笑> お様にはそのようにお伝えいたします。それでは皆様、お屋敷の方へご案内させていただきます。どうぞこちらへ。他の子はともかく、ジョージは成人してるんだから、連れて行った方がいいんじゃな。あ、let <笑> The adults left one after the other. They left in the same formation as our trip from the harbour, with Goda-san leading and Kumasawa-san taking up the rear. As we gathered in the room assigned to us cousins, George and Iki asked us to excuse him for a second. He rushed over to Kumasawa-san, he was following behind the disappearing adults and seemed to ask her something. He soon finished his business and came back. Well, there's already a lot of mysterious things happening, in my opinion. Maybe he has the hots for Kumasawa and wants to meet her later. Which means you obviously do, Jessica. Yeah, and Iki was getting pretty tongue-tied. It was almost as though he felt guilty about something, and Jessica knew exactly what he was worried about. At any rate, it's no fun if Jessica gets to know about it and not me. Nah, Maria. <laughs> so adorable. I fooled around with while ooing together with Maria. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Maria and I played around chasing George and Niki as he tried to escape, rolling on the bed. I realised high schoolers aren't supposed to bounce around like kittens, but I still miss this kind of fun. A warm, cosy kind of fun. <laughs> Ma, hold on, I'll 
兄さんも本家は一年ぶりだからよその間に辞めた使用人とか入った使用人とかそういうのがいたら挨拶したいってそういうことらしいぜ Definitely shipping George and Kumasawa san right now. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm sure that's not what it means, but it's just funny in my mind. Oh. <laughs> It's really nice to see a family that gets along so well. Well, the, the cousins at least. ぶん掃除とか昼飯の準備とかで忙しいんだよ。大丈夫。後でちゃんと挨拶に来るぜ。ゴーダの出しゃばりの出迎えよりシャノンの出迎えの方が良かったってんだろ。おお、ヘシャ
何のために勉強するのかっちゅうことを説いたかもしれんな個々の勉強に意味があるわけやないんやそう勉強っちゅうのは分からんことを自分で調べて身につけるという行為の練習なんやこれができんやつは社会に出ても使い物にならん国語算数ができろと言ってるんやない勉強し身につけることを学べっちゅうことやな Very wise words from Hideyoshi there ご立派ですわうちのジェシカにもそれが理解できればいいんだけど今のままではとてもじゃないけど後宮家の跡取りとしてはいいじゃないの無理に跡取りにしなくても It seems like Ava might want these sort out of the way. I'm guessing she wants to be head. Onnaniwaonnanoshiawasetoyumonomarundashi.Soreoyadaoshitskejawaruewayo.Yosankaeba.Kodomonosodatekatawaiye.Soreoyadaoshitskejawaruewayo.Gomenasai.Natsuhin
as the person in charge of the Ashidomiya head family's kitchen, allowing that clumsiness to be exposed, today of all days, was surely nothing less than total humiliation. Kirie was trying to be nice, hoping to cut through the tense mood. However, Shannon had embarrassed herself instead, darkening Natsuhi's face and the room's mood. By this point, Ava was audibly giggling. I mean, does it really matter as long as it tastes good? <laughs> like, <laughs> poor Shannon. Oh, I like that. I understand that reference. It's the thing where, um, if you use silver, it can detect poison, it goes black or something. I remember that from, I think it was Mad Father that also had that in. Oh, no, it might have been Witch's House, actually. A teasing smile rose to Ava's face as she stared at Shannon setting the table. By itself, Ava's expression was sweet in an impish sort of way. However, the words being spun from her lips held the keenness of a razor within them. Shannon tried with all her might to avoid Ava's continuing gaze. Realising that Shannon was hard pressed for an answer, Rosa gave some timely help. Ah, oh, see, I'm so good at that. Recognised it immediately. <laughs> they were acting as though this tea needed to be tested for poison before it could be drunk. In Natsuki's eyes, this was an insult both to the tea and to herself for serving it. Rudolph laughed flippantly and patted Ava's shoulder. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a bit dodgy to talk about licking someone's tongue, really, especially your sister. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here since it's going on a bit long. If you've enjoyed, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, goodbye!